is the proposal to use mother tongue as the primary language of instruction in schools practical in a country where over 40 languages are spoken? This is the question that begs even as a section of stakeholders in the education sector insist that teaching pupils in the language they learn first helps them grasp ideas better. KTN's Volkista Nyabwa reports. Former South African President Nelson Mandela once said, if you talk to a man in a language that he understands, that goes to his head. But if you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. It is an approach the Kenyan education sector is debating whether to adopt. A section of stakeholders in the education sector are campaigning for mother tongue to become the primary language of instruction in school, but at what cost? One word, one. Each day at Gidwariga Early Childhood Development School begins the same way. The children raise their voices in chorus, singing the first song of the day and then reciting their daily lessons. Number two. Number two are so many boss. One. One. All this in English, a language that is still foreign to their tongues. Teachers here considered the idea of using mother tongue to instruct their young pupils, but quickly discarded it. It was not practical, they said. <laughs> Na sababu kuu ni kwamba wanafunzi wetu wengi wanatoka eneo hii ya mjini sehemu ambazo ni, ni vijiji ya tuseme vijiji katika town na makabila bao wako hapa ni wengi kwa hivyo tunaona kwamba tukitumia lugha fulani kuna wengine hawatafaidika na mafunzo yetu independence the use of mother tongue in school has faded as different communities intermingled in certain quarters it is feared that in a world that is changing fast use of mother tongue in schools is likely to erect barriers among students or will it proponents of the use of mother tongue in schools say the proposal has been hugely misunderstood they say the idea is to give the children a running start enabling them to learn the basics in a language that they are fluent in instruction of children in preschool and lower primary in mother tongue they believe would help children grasp concepts faster improving their academic performance in the later years of primary education and in secondary school english would then become the language of instruction utafiti umeonyesha kwamba wanafunzi hufanya vizuri iwapo katika siku zake za kwanza za masomo atakuwa introduced uh, katika lugha yake ya kwanza kisha pole pole una una muintroducea languages ambazo ni za pili ama languages za tatu but there is a loophole policy haisemi lugha ya mama policy inasema lugha ya kwanza kwa hivyo basi si kwangu sioni shida maana yake hata ukienda mahali kama Bungoma kwa mfano iwapo utasema kwamba kiluya sio lugha ya ya kwanza basi Kiswahili ni lugha ambayo watu wengi uh, wanaielewa wana both the proponents and the opponents of the idea now struggling to have their voices heard drowning out perhaps the most important voices those of the peoples themselves Wilkinson Abu Katian